What's up YouTube? It's Dale again. Wanted to bring you a quick update on the slacker box slacker bus build uh, We've had some major developments here in the last couple of hours and uh, Thought I'd uh, go ahead and film an update and let you know what's going on Let me get the camera turned around and we'll get started with the update All right, we start back here at the back and uh We'll just show you what's going on inside. I did finally, we got back from Philadelphia, had a great weekend, came back, got the uh, insulation all installed, started working on the roof, got some of it put in. Michael actually went hunting this morning, first day of hunting season. Unfortunately, he did come back empty handed, but uh, when he got back, he decided he wanted to get started on some of the work he had to do on my bus. And one of the major things was we knew we had a, uh, I had an idler pulley going bad on the bus. And uh, he started working on that. And so let's go around the front here and see how that's going. Uh, as you can see, we got some tools out here on the ground. And uh, walk around the front here. And, and oh, my, oh my gosh, Michael, what have you done, son? I'm sorry, Dale. What have you done? Where's the bus? Well, it's back there. You mean, where's your engine? Where's, where's the, where's the radiator, the, the hood? Anyway, sorry, Dale. it's over here. Because guess what happened? We thought we had an idler pulling, oh, wait, pulley go going bad, which would be this pulley right here. Right here. But when he, we loosened the belt, this pulley over here just kind of fell off. And that's the pulley to the water pump, so which means the water pump. Which means we got to change the water and pump. Then, and then, and then, it, it, got, it got even worse. And then we pull the intercooler out, and Dale's got oil filling up his intercooler. And if you don't know, that is a very bad thing. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, Dale. So... Anyway, that's where we're at right now, and uh, I don't know. The, pro the main problem we have right now is for the next two days, it's going to rain, and then for the next three days, Mike will be out of town yeah, again. I got a wedding. It's yeah, a, I, don't, I don't have a wedding. I don't have a wedding. <laughs> Someone in my family I, has a We understand that. I want to make sure. So, you know, actually, I do have a wedding. So, so technically... Right here. We're getting married, everyone, because... It's the only way this thing's gonna get fixed if I just pretty much, you know. Just, uh, you know, fortunately, we, got bad. we have one of the best diagnostic guys and mechanics in North America. Yeah. And I say North America because technically our friend Badge lives in Canada. Yeah. And this for him would probably be what? What do you say? Maybe three days. At this even, point, I think it would take. Well, okay. I mean, so probably the, a little. With the original fix, he said it would probably not take him long at all. I would imagine, though, that uh, as we are just finding out other things, I think it would start taking more time. The good news is, is uh, he's we, only a phone well, call away. Yeah, but the, <laughs> well, I was gonna say the good news is that we did we found out that this was bad right here because if this would have gone bad uh, while you were driving, Badge said that this would have shot through your radiator and freaking blown your engine, man. So you would have been in deep trouble. So and plus, if there's oil in your intercooler. That can cause your engine to start uh, running on itself. It will start igniting itself through that oil, and uh, you can overrun your engine and blow your engine. So, uh, Dale, it's very unfortunate this is happening, but it's something that you would have either been having this happen or you'd be dropping a new engine in this thing and just jumping yeah, in. Yeah, it's one of those deals where so. it's much better to have it happen here where it's in the driveway somewhere yeah. as opposed to out in the middle of the interstate in the middle of the night or something when you're traveling. So... <clears throat> Once again, lots of problems, and we've got at least one solution to one of the problems, and as we go along, we'll, we'll find more. But, more uh, problems or more solutions? No, well, <laughs> if, well, if we find more problems, that just means we find more solutions. Yeah. The solution may wind up being that it goes to the junkyard. <laughs> no. no! I was only kidding, Mike. I know uh, if anybody can fix this, Badge you can. you oh, badge okay. can, and, and possibly you can too. No, I've. I mean, this isn't the first time I've ripped an engine apart in the driveway. But I mean, and here's the thing too, even 
Gina over here helped us with the disassembly part of it, and that'll be on one of Mike's videos coming up on his channel. You'll be able to see that. Definitely Look at that. Works. Look at that. Hey, it, well, it, this is how your engine works. <laughs> there you go. It's pumping the coolant through by spinning the fan. So anyway, that's where we are on this uh, edition. <laughs> I will let's you know let's have a look there's the hood there's the bumper there's the radiator there's all the tools out here this is actually the part that I was working on this morning we got you know two by fours and and insulation and uh you know I'll probably once Mike has to leave out of town I'll probably get back on that you know because obviously well, I'd like to think I'm a mechanic, or I'm more of the mechanic helper supervisor at this point. But, uh, yeah, we'll get it done. But, anyway, like I said, we got all the insulation put in, started putting back the uh, roof. Uh, right now, it's kind of looking like a mess here in a little bit. I'll definitely have to stop and uh, get all the wood and things put back in the bus because like I say we are expecting rain for the next couple of days unfortunately and uh, that's kind of the way it goes it's all part of bus life we'll get it figured out and uh, we'll just have to see what happens also anybody that's interested with Gina she's Gina's bus uh, oh Gina uh, bus, here's bus. here's a, here's an update on the Gina bus yeah, so uh, so Gina's bus, um, I know a lot of people on my YouTube channel were commenting it, um, but what Gina's bus is, it seems like ha is happening, is uh, there's, a, there's a fuel pump below her driver's seat, and it looks like that fuel pump is leaking, um, which we kind of, it was, our, it was our next big guess, we just didn't want to spend a lot of money, you know, diagnosing that and replacing it. Uh, what it looks like is happening is that the when the engine's off for like 10, 12 hours or so overnight, the 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 fluid and the, the the fuel in the line is draining out of the pump. So when she goes to start it, she's essentially just pumping air, and that's why she's taking forever to get it to start. And then when by the time she gets to that point, the battery's dead, and then she ends up killing the battery. So it's just uh, it's a fun vicious circle. It's a yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah, very much so. So we think. Um, it's the pump. We don't know if we're going to have to replace the pump or just change a seal or what. We haven't looked at it yet because I was just about to, and then that happened. So, we have that problem. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and Ivan's still getting fixed. So we just have all of our buses not working. That's so, so Finnegan. Finnegan, what do you well, think? Get your head out of the picture there, Mike. Sorry, I'm Finnegan, fixed, I'm what, what do his, you think? I'm fixing his vest so he doesn't uh, get in the coolant. We don't want him uh, to get into the coolant. Yes, you definitely, if you're ever working on a bus, a car, any of that type of thing that has... Uh, Radiator cooling in it. Don't let your animals around it because no. they will drop dead in a heartbeat. Yeah, they, so it's not and animals. Finnegan's too good of a dog for us to even wish that upon him. So we're getting his uh, harness. You're nice and his, nice his and new. Tight. That's a new one. It is now. Oh, look at that! Pick him up. Look, he you does, can pick him up by it. like like a bag of groceries. No, he's, that's tighter. And that'll uh, yes, that is keep tighter. him out I of the coolant. There don't again. Jump. Don't jump. We got a handle. All right. Hey, Dale. Hey. Dale. Why am I still filming? Why are you still filming? Because I'm, I'm, I'm only at eight Dale. minutes and 41 seconds. Dale, He's got to be 10 filming? minutes. We got things to do. I got, you know, an, another Time minute and a half. The going down. Okay, Time well. Rolls have reversed. Okay. We have a background and just say, you know, until next time, stay safe. Have fun. Keep the, Keep the projects rolling. <laughs> well, no, they're not rolling. They're not rolling. Anywhere. Well, a project <laughs> is rolling, but, you know. <laughs> Just another day with Navigation Nowhere <laughs> and the Slacker bus crew. So. I th I'm starting to feel like badge. You know, whenever someone's bus comes over, it just wants to break in my driveway. Well. I don't mind. I don't know, guys. Like I say, stay safe. Have fun. Like and subscribe if you see what's going on, and we'll talk to you the next time. Be good. Bye.